<coughs> I'm really sorry, but I had a bit of a malfunction uh, situation go on then, um, and I've had to do another video, which is annoying because <coughs> I accidentally touch pause and then touch off. Okay, so. What I've done is I've, I've, I've uh, mold gripped with some cardboard to protect the, um, the hoses. All right, the mold grip there, uh, that one there. Okay, um, and then I've put a 12 mil spanner. All right, it's a 12 mil spanner. Don't use a sock. Well, you can use a socket if you want, but um, I wouldn't use a ratchet because you're going to be tapping it with a hammer in a minute. Because trust me, moving this backs and forwards, even though these have been soaked in, in WD-40, they're still not budging by me just pushing and pulling. So I'm going to tap these and I'll show you how to do them in a gentle way where they will release. All right. And I've then clamped the other side. Here, as you can see there, I've clamped the other side with a pair of mill grips again. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get myself in a position where I can start tapping this spanner. Right. So I'm going to use a rubber mallet. Okay, not a metal one, a rubber one. All right, actually I'm a little bit too uh, close to it, so I have to move back <coughs> underneath the car a little bit. So hopefully you can still see what I'm going to do. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently tap it. Okay, just keep on gently tapping it. A bit more force maybe. Oh, so I just moved. There you go, she just moved. Okay, excellent. I will let into a little secret. I have done these already before, so that's probably why. You're gonna probably have to give it a little bit more oomph and probably hold on to the actual body of the, um, of the auxiliary heater while you're doing it, um, so you don't end up damaging hoses and everything. So that one's a little silly, mate. So all we need to do now is into a bucket and make it bold because it will drip out. Even though we've clamped it off, we are going to get some drip coming out of here. Okay. All right, as you can see, it's starting to drip already. So I do know it is definitely going to drip. Okay, so just going to undo it. I mean, it's quite loose now, so I can just undo it. I've got my bowl underneath, catch any, uh, move my bowl a little bit more. Make sure she's going in. Okay, I'm just going to undo it. So it's a little bit jiggy wiggy. When you do this, you'll realise how tight this was. Um, and you'll probably think, wow, that guy did so well to hold on to a, a, a phone that was slightly out of focus <laughs> um, and to show us how to do this. All right, I'm a little bit concerned about how much is coming out here, but hopefully it will stop. So I'm just going to hold it in there until it stops. So I was a bit shaky because um, I'm trying to open my left arm, rest it against my forehead. There you go, maybe that's less shaky. She's clamped off, so I shouldn't really be losing that much. He says, Oh, Hang on, I'm, I can't do this uh, one-handed. I'm going to have to come back to you in a minute. Okay, so keep on doing it. Now, I, I have a malfunction. Um, I didn't do it, my mold grip's tight enough, so it just kept on dripping and dripping and dripping. And it's about to do the same again, I think. But there you go, it did come out quite quick, so I'll do it slowly. And then there's your glow plug. Okay, and we've still got drip, 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 drip. Hopefully that will completely stop, but I've got the bowl there, so it'll catch anything with a bit of luck. So what we need to do now is we need to um, get the other ones out. Um, I'm not going to video doing those because I've done the first one, so you can do the rest, I'm sure now. Once you get one out, the easiest one, then it'll be a bit harder to get the others out. I'm now thinking maybe I should have done the top one first because it's dripping. <laughs> Um, so it's going to be dripping all over me as I'm doing it, but um, we shall see. Maybe it is stopping, hopefully it's stopping. I'll be back to you in a minute. Right you are, so finally I managed to get this one off. This was very tight. What I suggest is, if it's tight, then when you put the spanner on it, 
uh, where my spanner is. Um, when it gets tight, don't force it, okay, guys, don't force it. What you need to do is, if it's tight, it's just go backs and forwards quite a few times. Go backs and forwards, backs and forwards, backs and forwards, backs and forwards, and it will get loose. Then undo it a bit more. And just keep on doing that, because what you're doing then is you're creating the thread again as you're taking it out. If you force it, um, what can happen is, especially these little aluminium things like this, is that you can end up damaging the thread on taking it out. Because you'll be bending this without realising that you'll be kind of bending it with the force, and so you can end up damaging your thread. All right, so I'm take this one out now. Now also what I did, and I forgot to mention, is when I clamped this off, I also, first of all, I ran the engine um, to get it nice and hot. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to get this hot, the actual body hot. All right, so I got it nice and hot, as hot as it would go, because let's face it, they don't go very hot. Probably about 65 degrees, maybe 70 if you're lucky. All right, then, um, I, then I then clamped them off. All right, then what I did then is I then put, um, once I established I had one good one working, okay, I then put the electrical feed onto here as you saw me do earlier. I left it on for a while because I wanted to heat this up. I wanted to get this hot, like really, really, really hot. The reason why is these, uh, because